Hello. Today on Midwest Bike Life, I'm going to tell you about the last bike floor pump that you'll ever buy. Over the years of riding bikes, I've bought many floor pumps. You would think something so simple would work well and be easy to use, but I've found that this isn't always the case. I'm going to tell you about the best floor pump you can buy for the money. And the best part is, you can find it almost anywhere. My favorite floor pump is the Bell Air Attack 650. It's a great pump because it delivers a ton of air with each pump. It's a high volume pump, uh, it works really well, it's really sturdy, and it doesn't cost a lot of money. In the past I've had your standard low volume floor pumps, uh, just like this Park Tools pump you'll see here. Um, and they work great, they're fine, but uh, it takes a lot more pumps to pump things up. The high volume pumps will put more air in the tire with each pump. They're great for fat bike tires, mountain bike tires. Um, might not be so great for road bike tires that you're pumping up to like 120 PSI, but um, if you don't have a road bike tire, you're doing gravel, things like that, you're only pumping up to maybe 60 max, uh, they work great. This pump uh, actually goes up to, I believe, 80 PSI max, whereas a low volume pump will go up to like 160 max. The gauge on this pump is fine. It seems to be consistent. Uh, I'm not sure on the accuracy, but it is consistent. Um, it functions fine, just like any other uh, gauge on that pump. It's in a good position where you can see it well. You'll see the max PSI on this pump is 80 PSI. The other thing I really like about this pump is the valve head. It has both Presta and Schrader valves for versatility. Also, the other thing I really like is the, the lever on this. You'll see on this Park Tools pump, the lever I like to call the mouse trap because it will snap your fingers and it hurts really bad. I don't know why Park does this. I've had this happen with other pumps as well, but this pump, the lever, uh, works great and doesn't do that. I have a friend that uses this pump and he doesn't even use a lever. He just pushes it onto his Presta valve and pumps and it works great that way too. In addition, this pump comes with uh, extra attachments for balls like basketballs and footballs, things like that. So that's a nice touch. So the other great thing about this pump is that you can buy it almost anywhere. And that's right, you can buy it at Walmart and it costs $16.99 I believe. The Park Tools pump that you see in this video retails right now for around $37. So you can buy two of these pumps for one of the Park Tools. For that price, you might as well have two of these laying around. One for your house and one for your car. You'll never be without. Alright, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite bike pump is and why in the comments below. I'll put a link for both pumps in the description below. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.